Okay. Here we go. Recording in progress. Okay. So welcome everyone. Tonight we are going to move through two different restorative postures and then into a yoga nidra that is kind of a blend of, of a couple that I've done in the past that actually came to me just a few minutes ago. So I'm really excited to see what comes out in that. <laughs> um, before we begin, I just wanna let you know what props you're going to be needing. So, Let's see, I think someone just tried to pop in. Oh, there we go, excellent, okay. Welcome. We're just getting into the props. Good to see you. <laughs> so we're going to need three pillows and two blankets tonight. Um, if you have a bolster, you could also grab that because sometimes it's kind of nice to have that extra height, but if you don't have one, I will have ways to modify um, and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. So then the other thing is eye pillows will really only work for the yoga nidra tonight because we're going to be on our bellies with our heads turned to the side or in a twist. So if you prefer a washcloth or a scarf or something over your eyes, that would be good. And if you have a weight or a weighted blanket, you can also grab that. <clears throat> so we will start by laying a blanket down underneath us so you have a little bit of extra padding and warmth. And then I will head over to my mat and show you where we're going first and then I'll talk you into the postures. So we are gonna do a little bit of cat-cow first just to move the body a little bit. It's been exceptionally cold here, so it's kind of nice to get a little bit of movement in so that we're not as tense when we lay down. And for those of you with really busy minds who struggle with stillness, this will also help. After we do that, we are going to move into a twist. And the twist we're going to move into is going to be with one leg straight and the other bent. So when we do this, a lot of times, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side, the arm just sort of floats when the leg comes down. So we're going to do a little bit of movement in and out to see if we can loosen that up. And then you'll have the option to put um, a pillow in between your legs so that everything can soften down onto the mat and bend both knees. But some of you might be open enough to have this work just fine. So the bolster there will help. We got someone coming in here. Okay. Here we go. And then, hello, welcome, welcome. We're just going through the props that we need and a quick little run through of the postures. So grab yourself three pillows and two blankets, and you will be good to go. I'm sorry, I missed all of that because I didn't hit audio. What did oh, you say? No worries, you are all good. Um, so three pillows and two blankets, and you should have what you need. And then I will talk you all through this. Once we are in the twist, then we're gonna move on to the belly and take a half frog position, okay? And that's where we'll land. So I'm going to talk you through all of it, but you might need some extra height in different areas. So when you get there, I'll guide you. Okay, let's take a moment. Just come to a seat. Let your hands rest on your thighs, palms down. Allow for your eyes to close. And you can take a big breath in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. And 
let's take a couple of those and really feel how the whole body can begin to expand and experience this sense of lightness as you inhale. And then as you exhale, feel the body get heavy. Feel those areas where you are connected into the surface below you getting heavier as well. And take a minute here to think about if you're working with an intention or the sankalpa that we work with at the end of the yoga nidra practice, <clears throat> which really is an intention as well, but it's more of a seed that we plant of something that we are going to bring into our lives that we can allow to help us to evolve and listen to that true calling within our hearts. So if you're working with that, if you're working with an intention, if you want to create one right now, take just a moment to sit with that. And notice when you think about that, where you might feel it in your body. Notice what it might carry along with it, different feelings or sensations. And we'll come back to that at the very end as well. You can go ahead and come on to all fours you're welcome to keep your eyes closed. And we'll take some cat-cow. If movement is not something that feels very inviting to you right now, you are welcome to lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet on the floor, placing one hand at your heart and the other hand at your belly and Take a constructive rest, listening to the breath, maybe even deepening it. So as we work here, you can allow your breath to guide your movement. Inhaling as the belly drops and the chest opens. Exhaling as you round the spine, release the head. And you can move here between these two postures. You can also add in a child's pose, maybe holding it, maybe moving right back up. You might even Move the hips back and then walk the arms over to the right. Take a few breaths into the left side body. And head on over to the left. Reaching through that right side, let the breath move between your ribs. Come on back to center. And then let's lie down onto our backs, a pillow under your head, the other two pillows, one on either side, have your blanket handy. We're going to stretch that right leg long and let the left knee bend.
and then press into that left foot and send your hips a little bit over to the left. Then you can step that left foot onto your right leg and let your knee drop over to the right and let, let it catch onto your pillow. And your left arm might lift a bit away from the ground, that's okay. You'll release the hip back to the floor, knee towards the ceiling, shoulder drops. And then you move back into the twist once again. You can just rock like this a few more times. And then we're going to hold in the twist. So for me, my leg doesn't even fully make it to the pillow. So I could stack a couple pillows or the bolster underneath there and open up this way, where you could bend both knees with the pillow between the legs and use the other pillow behind you to support your low back. Let the head tip over to the left. And we'll stay here. I'll turn the music on. Allow your breath to come back to its own rhythm. You might place a weight over the top hip if you have a sandbag. You could also place it over that left upper chest.
for your breath to deepen. Allow for your body to lie here in stillness for a minute. <clears throat> and visualize where you're moving to. So that top leg, that left leg, is going to stay bent. And you're gonna to roll toward it onto your belly and stretch your right leg long behind you. You can support that left knee on the pillow still as you turn. And I will demonstrate if you need a visual. The left leg is bent and drawn up like a half frog. You can rest your head in your pillow. Let your arms rest wherever they're most comfortable for me. I like them bent, resting my head to the side in them. sleeping position. If you would like to have a technique that you can use to sort of anchor you into this space and help to calm the nervous system more, we'll use Brahmari breath here, which is the buzzing bee breath. So you'll inhale and through sealed lips on an M sound, just buzz. It can go loud or soft, the pitch can be high or low, you can play with it, there's no right or wrong. Mm. can release it whenever you're ready to.
and allow your breath to deepen once again. Quietly make your way onto your back. Pause here. Just feel the body on the ground, noticing the difference between the sides. And then with both legs long on the ground, Bend into the right knee and place that right foot on the floor and send your hips a little bit over to the right. Just lift them up and place them down. And then you can step that right foot on top of the left thigh and you can drop the knee towards the pillows and then open it back up to the ceiling a few times, moving in and out of the twist. Feeling the weight of the hip drop down, and lift up as the knee falls. And just move in and out. And then if you can settle with the leg underneath you straight and not feel like there's too much of a pull, you're welcome to stay there or bend into both knees and bring the pillow between them. The other pillow can go a bit underneath your low back to support you there. And your head can tip away from the direction of the knees. Your weight can go over that top hip if you'd like.
Allow for your breath to deepen. You can begin to stretch your left leg long as you roll onto your belly and keep that right knee bent, keeping a pillow underneath it. Adjust yourself here. And again, if that technique that we used on the other side was helpful, you're welcome to bring it back here, that Brahmari breath. Do a few rounds, notice how you feel, and release whenever you're ready.
you can begin to deepen your breath. next few breaths, you'll make your way onto your back. You're welcome to place two of your pillows underneath your legs for some support and the other one can stay under your head. Cover yourself with your blankets, maybe your eye pillows or your washcloth over the eyes. Can you give me a thumbs up if the volume is okay? Thank you. You want to settle in so that you're comfortable and you don't feel like you have to move around too much, but if you feel the need to shift and move during the practice, you are always welcome to do that. this practice of yoga nidra all you have to do is listen to the sound of my voice there's nothing more as you settle in let the arms move a little bit away from the body and press the upper arms into the ground to draw the shoulder blades onto your back and then lengthen through the back as you settle down The legs can part as your feet flop and the fingers can gently curl in. Let's take a big breath in through the nose and exhale everything out the mouth. And you can allow for the lips to stay parted teeth to part and the back of your tongue to drop away from the roof of the mouth. We'll begin this practice by taking in the most distant sounds that you can hear. Simply opening up your awareness to receive them and acknowledge them and then release them as you move on to the next moving in closer and closer with each new sound Allow for those sounds to move all the way into the body, the awareness of them. The saliva as you swallow. The breath. The 
And as you move to the inner landscape of the mind, allow for there to be a sense of safety and a feeling of coming home, like a tortoise retreating into her shell. Tell yourself that you're going to remain awake and listen to the sound of my voice. And if you drift off, it's okay, you'll come back when you remember. We'll begin by moving through a rotation of consciousness where you'll place the mind's eye into the part of the body that you hear. And if you can't see it or feel it, then you can silently repeat it back to yourself. We'll move through the body tonight using a golden light, warm, where it almost feels like there's a heaviness, a blanket of light being laid over each body part, a light of relaxation, a light of safety. Watch as the light flows into the crown of your head as though it's being poured and it washes down over the forehead, across the eyebrows. It almost feels like the weight of a sandbag, an eye pillow. And the light shines brighter as it spreads across the eyes. It flows down your nose and through the nostrils as it begins to spread across your cheekbones and your cheeks. This light of safety and relaxation begins to spill over your mouth. Your lips and teeth are covered in light, golden and bright. The warmth moves down over the chin and you trace it all the way up the jaw. It then wraps around your ears and flows over the back of the head, pouring down the back of your neck. It wraps around to the front and your whole head now is bathing in this golden light, this warm light of safety and relaxation. You can place it into your hands, feel the weight here. The palms get heavier as the light grows brighter and it flows down to fill your thumbs second fingers, third fingers, fourth fingers, and fifth fingers. The backs of the hands glow and that light travels up into the wrists. It fills your forearms. The elbows glow and the light travels all the way up your arms and over the shoulders through the collarbones, landing in the chest. And here the golden light glows even brighter, filling your heart. The warmth and safety spreads as it begins to roll down over your belly, over the pubic bone, into your hip creases. And now the tops of the thighs glow golden light. And it washes over your knees as it begins to spill down the shins, covering the tops of your ankles and feet. And here it begins to wrap its way and weave through all ten toes, swirling through the soles of your feet. You can feel its warmth, the safety, the relaxation. It begins to move up over the heel into the back of your ankle and it spreads over the shin into the backs of the calves. The backs of your knees glow. The backs of the upper legs are shining. And it rolls over the buttocks into the low back. This light of relaxation and safety travels up through the mid back and upper back until the entire body now is bathing in it, the whole body together, the whole body. The whole 
body together. Now allow for your awareness to settle into the pelvic floor. And as you happen to inhale next, watch this light travel up to the head through the central line. As you exhale, it flows back down. And this light will travel with the rhythm of your breath up and down as you begin to count back from 11. You breathe in and out, 11. The light rises and falls, 10. If you lose your place, you can begin again at 11. Release the counting. It doesn't matter how far you got. You have nothing that you need to make up. Allow yourself to begin to awaken a sensation of heaviness in the body. You're so heavy you could sink right into the surface below you. Your bones get heavier with each exhale. Every muscle fiber seems to get heavier and heavier. You're so heavy you can't even lift a finger. Awaken the sensation of heaviness. Heavy. Now release that, move into lightness so light you could float from the ground. Every inhale, the body seems to grow lighter and lighter, as if there is space being blown between each cell, between each muscle fiber, expansive and light, awaken the sensation of lightness whole body light. And release that, let that go. And see in front of you a golden door. And you walk up to this door and as you open it, the sun is shining on the other side. Skies are blue and there are birds singing. The grass is a brilliant green, so soft and thick. You slip your shoes off and walk through the door. It's a garden. And this garden is like a maze with walls towering high above you, lined with vines spreading and growing and reaching all the way across, so thick you can hardly see the stone beneath it. And this is a statue garden. You begin to walk, feeling the earth soft below you. And there are red rose bushes everywhere. The scent is filling the air. The roses blooming and opening, reaching towards the sun. 
when you come to your first statue as you turn the corner. It's a statue of your house that you grew up in. A miniature version of it, big enough for you to walk inside of. But everything is miniature when you get in there. And as you step foot inside, you can smell the smells from your childhood. Your favorite meal is cooking in the kitchen right now. And that smell that makes it uniquely your home is there as well. And as you look around, you can see all of the trinkets on the shelves and tables. books, and blankets, and pictures, and you walk out of this back into the soft grass, and as you continue to walk through this path, through this maze, the wind begins to carry a song on it, and you start to dance. And you dance your way through a few twists and turns. And the paths are lined with marigolds, bright oranges, And there's a pond through an opening that you can see. And in that opening, you look through and you can see a statue. In the center of that pond, you see it clearly. It's your first love. And all of the feelings of the beginning of that relationship come rushing through. The excitement, the newness, that first love feeling. You pause a moment here enjoying the memory of the beginning. And you begin to make your way now back through the maze. Yellow daffodils line the path now. You feel a warmth as you turn the next corner. And here there's a little fire pit. And next to the fire pit is a statue of you. It's larger than life. And it's a strong version of you. You in your power. You can see the fierceness in your eyes, the determination, the strength, the confidence. And as you look at the statue, you feel all of those things within. You continue to walk, making your way through the maze. The ivy growing on the walls gets thicker and thicker. And 
And here you come upon another statue. And as you look at it, you're overwhelmed with a sense of unconditional love. This statue embodies that. It's as though the love is pouring out of it into you. And you can hardly contain the love that you feel within. Notice what this statue is, who it is, where it is. You continue down your path. Little bluebells fill the path as you walk. You can almost hear a whisper in the wind guiding you to turn one more time. And there is another statue. It's as though everything that you've dreamt of sharing with the world, your purpose, your voice, is coming through this statue. This statue is an expression of what is within you. And you can hear the whispering in the wind growing a little bit louder. It's the whisper of the statue. The whisper of your voice. Notice the shape it takes. And as you leave this statue. You make your way to the end of the maze where it opens up into a huge field. And sitting in this field is a bunch of clay and water and all of the tools that you need. There are lilac bushes everywhere and the scent fills the air. And as you sit down to begin to work with the clay, you scoop your hand into the bucket of water to moisten the clay, and a white light pours into your hands so that as you pour it over the clay, it becomes filled with your vision, your intuition, the wisdom deep within you. Your mind might not know what your hands are creating, but allow them to begin to play, pull, build, reshape, remold, and create a statue of what you need to bring into your life. what you're calling upon to live your truth, to express it, to evolve and to grow. Just 
see what is taking shape here. And really see the details of it. And know that you can come back here at any time. That you can change this statue, this shape. You can create it and recreate it as many times as you need. See yourself once again lying on the floor in your room and allow for your breath to deepen as this practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Let the breath begin to invite some movement into your body. And over the next few breaths, you're welcome to find your way onto your side. Gently press on up, closed eyes. Allow your palms to touch, bowing head to heart. You can honor yourself here for coming to the mat and having practice. Big breath in. Om, Om Tat Sat. Allow the infinite wisdom, the unbound potential, the unconditional love and light that always shines from within your heart to spread into your hands and from your hands touch every moment of your living. Namaste.